Hello, reading friends. I'm glad that you came back to listen to another story. And at the end of this story, I'm going to give you a little activity to do if you're interested. If you need something to do today or something to put on your summer to-do list, I have a little activity for you. But first, the book. It's called 20 Questions. And it is by Mac Barnett and Christian Robinson. And I just looked up and they both live in California. I wonder if anybody listening today lives in California. I've never lived in California, but I have visited California, and I think it's wonderful. Okay, each page is going to ask you a question. You're going to get to look at this page and decide how you want to answer it. How many animals can you see in this picture? Let's see if I can put it here for you to look. I'm going to give you a minute to look to see how many animals can you see in this picture. All right, let's see how many I can find. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I count ten. How many animals can you not see in this one? Because they are hiding from the tiger. Ooh, maybe all of the animals on the previous page would hide from the tiger. Which of these ladies just robbed a bank? Which one do you think? One, two, three, four, five, or six? Maybe they all did it together. Why is the elephant so upset? Why do you think? I see a large elephant and a small bit of water with potentially something in the water that would be scary. What is this boy hiding behind his back? Hmm, what do you think it could be? Let's see, he's got a turtle friend. I wonder, maybe some food? How did that cow get all the way up there? That's a great question. How did the cow get way up there? Where did the bandits bury the treasure? And what would you do if you found it? Where did they bury it? Hmm, I'm going to pick that they buried it behind the mountains. And what would I do if I found it? I think I would take a trip. Ooh, library bookmark. Which of these creatures is the zookeeper's favorite? How can you choose? Maybe it's one of the little babies. Who gave Mr. Beckett a bump on his noggin? Oh no. Who could have done it? Maybe he did it himself. I'm looking to see a car driving up my driveway. What did the lion get the lamb for her birthday? Hmm. Maybe some shears to cut away some of the, the wool. Just checking out the car. I think we're all good. Who is she waiting for? Each of these pages could be their own story. You could write a whole story about who she's waiting for. And why she's waiting here and what they'll do next. Which of these fellows has a better singing voice? I'm not sure, but I want to make a face like them. <laughs> Hopefully that's not a, a picture that Instagram takes or that YouTube takes of me. I love it. Maybe they're a good duet. What kind of beast lives in the bathtub? Yikes. Maybe it's just two balls. Oh, and what does the beast eat? Look, the child is feeding the beast, or at least feeding the bathtub. Who is on the other side of this door? Maybe that's where I want to travel to if I find the buried treasure. Which of these children is dreaming of peaches. Yum. Maybe they went peach picking or maybe they just want to. 
Or maybe they're making peach pie or peach pie. Where is this ship sailing away to? Will you go with it? Are you ever coming back? Okay, I want to take a trip, but I don't want to go on the on the ship and never come back. That's the end. That's the end of 20 questions. So many good questions. And like I said, so many of these could be their own story. Like, which lady robbed the bank? That could be a whole story. This whole page could launch into another story, which wasn't the activity I was going to give you to do. But you could take the pages and turn them into their own story. But my activity was going to be to encourage you to take some pictures. They could be pictures that you draw, that you find in a magazine, that you find on a computer, um, pictures that you have printed at your house, and put them together to make a book of 20 questions. Maybe you draw some different pictures. Let's see if I can find another one. And you write a question about your picture that you draw. It could be, you could have an, a whole animal book with 20 questions, or you could have a whole book of pictures of places you've been with 20 questions. Possibilities are endless, but this will be your launching point. I guess I better end the video before the car pulls under my driveway and maybe needs me. Anyway, thank you for visiting and listening to another story, and I hope you'll go to the activity, even if you just write two questions or five questions. It would be fun um, and share it with me because I'd love to answer your questions. Okay, happy day readers. Have a great day.